and Sarah are going to draw a corgi. Yeah, not any kind of corgi, a mermaid corgi. We hope you're going to follow along. We could call this a mer corgi. Mer corgi. Yeah. <laughs> you need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers. You also need some. Paper and soap thin and color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw our corgi's nose. Let's draw an oval shape right in the middle of our paper. I'm going to draw it towards the top so that we have room for the body. I'm going to draw an oval shape about this big. And then we could draw a little oval in the top left for the highlight, just like we do for the eyes. We could color in the big oval, but leave the little one white. There's the nose. Now let's draw a little wrinkle over the nose or the snout. We'll draw a little curve over the top. And then let's draw the eyes next. We could draw a circle on the left, about this big, and the same size circle on the right. There you go. One more. And then let's draw the highlight just like we did for the nose in each eye. And then let's color in the big circle, but leave the little circle white. And if we ever go too fast or if we fast forward the video, what can our friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, for extra time. Okay, now we're ready to draw the mouth. Let's draw, we could draw a little guide point right below the nose. That's for the middle of the mouth. Then we're going to draw a curve or a U shape comes out to the left, and then also that same curve that comes out to the right. Yeah, there's the top of the mouth. Now let's draw the tongue. We're going to draw the mouth open and the little tongue sticking out. I'm going to draw a U shape underneath the mouth. And then on top of the U shape, let's connect with a, two little bumps for the top of the tongue. <laughs> then we can draw the mouth coming down from the top of the mouth or we'll draw the bottom of the mouth coming down. There we go, and connecting, and then the same thing on the right side. Now let's color in the mouth. Now let's draw the shape of the head. We're going to draw the forehead, or the top of the head first. Let's draw a curve that kind of matches the nose shape. We're going to draw it coming over the top of the eyes. See how it's lined up? Mm -hmm. Just over each eye. Now let's draw the side of the head. We're going to leave a little space right here, and then we're going to draw a curve coming down. And we could do that same shape or the same curve on the other side too. Leave a little space and then curve down. And then right here on the cheek, we're going to draw a zigzag line. I'm going to draw three zigzags. And it's also angled in. See how it's curving in? And then we're going to repeat that same zigzag on the right side. There we go. Now let's connect the two fuzzy cheeks together. I'm going to turn my paper sideways to make it a little easier. I'm going to draw a curve that comes underneath the tongue and then back up and connect to the other side. Nice. Now let's draw the ears. I'm going to draw a curve coming out of the top of the head right here and we're going to curve up to the left and then stop. And then let's curve back down and connect to the side of the head. Let's repeat that same size ear on the right side. So we'll start in the same spot, curve up to the right side, and then we'll curve back down to the cheek. That's so cute. Yeah, it is. it's turning out really cute. Let's draw the inside of the ears next. We'll start up at the top, curve down, and we'll stop right about here. Then we can add a zigzag. I'm going to draw two zigzags inside the ear for the little fuzzy ears. And then we're going to curve out to connect to the outside of the ear. Let's repeat that over here on the right side. Start at the top, curve down, two zigzags. I'm going faster because we're just repeating the same step. And then we'll curve out to the edge. We did it. We finished drawing the head of our corgi. When we color it in, it'll look more like a corgi. But now let's draw the paws and also the tail. Oh, are you adding eyelashes? Yes. Yes, you have you to. You have to. <laughs> if you want to. Let's draw the color first. We're going to draw a little heart shape right here. I'm going to draw the letter V for the bottom of the heart. And you, you could draw your heart any way you want. Sometimes I like drawing the bottom first. It makes it a little easier. And then we're going to draw the two bumps on top. And then let's draw the collar coming down and connecting to the heart on each side. 
Next, let's draw little zigzag lines for the fuzzy chest. I'm going to draw it coming underneath the heart like this, and then back up and connecting over here. Now let's draw the paws. I'm going to start right here underneath the chin. I'm going to draw a curve that comes down like this. We're going to curve around and then connect back to the zigzag. And then let's do the same shape on the right side. It kind of looks like the letter J. Start yeah. here, curve down, and we want these to look the same on both sides, and then back up, and then we'll connect to the zigzag. Okay, now let's add two little paw lines at the bottom of each paw. Now we need to draw the tail and turn it into a mermaid. Let's start here, and we're going to draw a little curve that comes down from the paw, and then I'm going to curve around and back up. It will come up just a little higher, too. And then we can start here, and watch this. We're going to draw a point at the end, but then we're going to come around and get further away and then connect to the other paw on the other side. There's our mermaid tail. Whoa, we need this. It looks the... like a ghost. It does look like a ghost. <laughs> we need the fish tail at the end. <laughs> Let's draw an S curve coming out of this point. So I'm going to curve this way and then curve back the other way. And then at the very end, I'm going to start here, and we're going to curve back. I'm going to also overlap behind the paw, and then we'll imagine it coming through and then connecting to the tail here. Let's repeat that same step for the other side. I'm going to draw an S curve, coming out, and then back up. And then we'll start at the top, curve around, and then connect back into the tail. We did it, Hadley. We finished drawing our mermaid corgi. It looks really cute, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yes. This part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our mermaid corgis, and they turned out super cute. I especially love yours. Thank you. I like yours too. And I especially love that you colored yours different. You guys can also color it differently. Yeah, you could also even add a background. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your corgis. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.